So, um, Tom Glover, um, really good to, to, to uh, speak to you. You are project lead uh, on this, this new concept vehicle, Aero. You're with Hedowick, um, but you're, you're leading this project uh, for a Chinese uh, OEM, I, I understand. Tell me a bit about how, it, how you got started with this. Iron Motors came to us at the end of last year, late, late 2020, um, and said, um, will you think about a new form of electric vehicle? Um, and there was, uh, the, the, we were um, targeting a, a younger, more um, sort of fashion conscious, design conscious, environmentally conscious audience. Um, and so we looked at the world of modern cars and particularly um, electric vehicles and thought, well, they're not doing any damage to the world um, in terms of uh, carbon emissions uh, as they're driving. But then, but couldn't we go one step further and actually do good for the world? So this car is equipped with um, HEPA filters, which sit in the front of the vehicle and suck in all the particulate matter um, and and output that as clean air out the back. So the the plan is to make a hundred thousand of these a year. And when you think about the amount of air that a hundred thousand vehicles travelling around our cities. Um, could could have it's that could be quite a big impact and actually need to to clean the city. So the the second the second thing that we observed in the world um, world of cars um, was that cars were unused for ninety percent of the time, and that just seemed wrong to us. That's that's billions of square meters of unused real estate right in the middle of our city. So could a car be a more useful space for your life? Could you use this as a dining room or a meeting room or a gaming board or even have the seats fold down flat and form a double bed so that it can drive you drive you through the night and um, and of course it's a good smart glass that can that can go cloudy so that you have privacy when you're sleeping or having a meeting and not driving. Um, Absolutely, and here we are. We're sitting here at the Goodwood Festival of Speed in the Future Lab, uh, having having an interview in the car, and it's already uh, showing its you versatility. Can see, you can see the space really works yeah. for, for that. Yeah, it's, it's a, a multi multi purpose space. But yeah, the, the filtering with the with the air filter is, is just a great a great idea and a great concept. And you can imagine that could have a real impact on, as you say, city centre pollution. You know, and, and reducing the need perhaps for so many regulations. If the if the cars are actually cleaning the air, maybe we don't need you know clean air zones because the cars are cars are doing the cleaning themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you know, the the I think the amount of um, matter that it could take out is about the weight of three tennis balls. So when you think of three tennis balls of matter in your lungs, it's tiny little particles. It's a huge amount that it could. That each car will suck out, and when you times that by 100,000, that's a really meaningful impact. It could go beyond cities as well. I've read that you know a lot of the pollution, plastic pollution in the oceans, is actually tire dust. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what, one of the key things is that um, pollution cities are incredibly localized. So even if you go a few meters away from the road, the pollution levels drop and it's dispersed into the, into the atmosphere. But if you can suck that pollution up at source, so you're travelling behind another vehicle and sucking that pollution in, right where it's being emitted, you can capture a far greater amount than, than if you were uh, if you had a static um, object sucking in pollution. So then this will be an electric vehicle. I am most of already make electric vehicles, yes. uh, but, uh, but possibly with a with a, a new a new type of drivetrain that you're developing with them. Yeah, so I am, I am Motors are, um, this is a jetpack in the background. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully we're not picking up too you're much jetpack. You're, you're a good one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am Motors are developing a new platform and we're work, going to work in collaboration with them so that, that it's going to have a longer wheelbase than, than um, many vehicles today. Um, and that creates a larger social space uh, inside the car if you can push push the wheels to the front and the back. Um, so yeah, that's 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 going to be in 
in development over the next three years. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, we should just touch on the fact that, you know, of course, it's going to be an autonomous vehicle, right? Yeah, so when it when it launches, it's going to be level four or something. Um, and then, um, which, which means that you can, you, you still need to be alert. Uh, but you can take your hands off the wheel and you'd think you'd have to face forwards. Yeah, yeah. And then the plan is that the future versions of the car to have full level 5 autonomy, which means that you can be totally unfocused on the road, you could sleep in the car as it drives, and, and it'd be set up in the scenario that we're set up in here with us facing inwards and, you know, get on with a meeting as we, as we travel through the city. Brilliant, brilliant. And this is the first time the car's been seen outside of uh, China, isn't it? This is this is its, its European debut here, this show. Absolutely. Yeah. This, this car, it, it arrived in, in the country a couple of weeks ago and and is on display here today. For, this is the first time people have seen it. Wow, it's, and it's fantastic. It's such a great looking car and uh, Thank really, you very much. really a, 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 pleasure, a pleasure to sit in it. And, uh, you know, we'll look out for it in the future. You say launch, launching next year, did you say? No, three years. Three years. Time. Yes. So launching in three years' time. Yeah, that would be that'd be very quick. You've already done a lot of very quick work from November to, to now to get it to this stage. But uh, um, yeah, really looking forward to, to seeing how this develops. So thanks very much for your time, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.